The millennium drought was one of the most severe periods of dry conditions that much of Australia had experienced in a very long time. This drought was widespread across nearly every state of Australia. Now in Australia, we're mostly accustomed to cycling between drought and flood. But from the early 2000s until about 2010, there were persistently low levels of rainfall and high temperatures. It hit both rural areas as well as our cities. River flows and runoff decreased and metropolitan water storages dropped drastically, despite many of these dams and reservoirs having significant capacity to deal with variability. And it meant that some of our major cities nearly ran out of water, so it was a quite serious incident in Australia's meteorological history. One of the most significant things about the Millennium Drought was that it went on for 10 years and in many locations was more severe than any drought on record. Now water efficiency and water conservation programs might not immediately spring to mind, as the option with the most potential for securing water during a drought. But if you do the maths and consider that every user could just reduce 10%, 20% or 30% of their water use, the savings are considerable. Water efficiency is one of the single largest, quickest and cheapest contributions we can make to improving water security, both in long-term supply demand planning but also in drought, and right across the field from leakage, system losses, through to the residential sector, appliances, equipment and fixtures, as well as the business sector. Well, one of the successes of water efficiency programs in Australia was that they involved so many sectors and end uses, from residents to businesses to industry, all involved in saving water during the drought. So we saw improvements in leakage and system losses, reduction in system losses. We saw improvements in appliances and equipment uh, and fixtures in houses. And we saw in shops, offices and factories, massive reductions in water use through improved efficiency. A key reason why water efficiency programs were successful was that there were programs tailored for all sectors and end uses, whether households, businesses, commercial buildings or local government. This has two advantages. Firstly, this leverages opportunities for water efficiency, which also, by the way, has cost savings across all sectors. Secondly, in the drought, it was important to foster a strong sense that all sectors and types of users were contributing to water security. I think partnerships were really important during the drought for water efficiency programs. There were a lot of new partnerships formed and existing ones built on, that whether they were utilities, governments, businesses, industry and the community as well, all working together. Partnerships and coordination were instrumental in designing water efficiency programs, in rolling them out and in making those strategic changes to policy settings to ensure that efficiency and other least cost water security measures could be implemented. There were two really important aspects of uh, the response to the drought. The first was that there was a strong element of community engagement. So the community and different sectors within the community, including the business sector, utilities, government, all pulled together to ensure that we had the best outcome. The second was that we had a really good framework of different policies that ensured that water efficiency was improved in buildings, in appliances, for leakage, uh, and which applied to the whole range of different sectors in the economy. So the combination of those two things meant that Australia was really prepared and really able to respond to this millennium drought. 